with this character Dynamo, he's a thing on the screens, people are hooked onto him, watching videos of him perform, perform uh, street magic. Yep, he goes and does all these uh, tricks that are like to hundreds of people across the world. It's like there's no stage set up. There's nothing to say that he's, you know, planted and, and sort of planned all of this. And the tricks on the surface of it are absolutely amazing. In fact, what some Muslims have begun to get affected by is their Iman. They're thinking, how is it possible? And, you know, the guy doesn't even believe in Allah or something. How is it possible that he does all of that? Yeah. And some people start looking about well, how is it possible that you even do this? And then some people think, well, you know, if, if you can do this, then subhanAllah, you know, well, you know, what is this? You know, how, how does Allah even allow all this to happen? All right? Because is, is it supposed to be that the prophets only do miracles and they're supposed to be the ones who can bring something that no human can do? So what does that put you as a question with what Dynamo is doing? Now, I want to tell you simply that there's a difference between, there's something called tricks, then there's magic. And when we say magic, we're talking about like black magic. And then there's miracles. See, miracles, what the prophets do and they've done, they have done in history, no one can replicate that until the day of judgment. No one will be replicated. So when our Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam pointed at the moon and he split it in half by saying the Shahada, I challenge any magician in the whole of the world to try and do that. They will not be able to do that. Even if they reach black magic, they won't be able to do that. They won't be able to make you believe that that is happening. Right? The, the mir there are many miracles um, in, 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 the, in the history. Like for example, Musa is split in the sea in two. And walking right in between the sea with a whole group of people till the other end. There's no one going to be, going to be able to do that until the day of judgment. No matter how much of a big machine, magician they are. Now, when you get to the level of outside of miracles... You've got tricks and you've got black magic. Tricks, ordinary person can do. It's just some, you fool people in that. They don't know what you actually did. So they move the card so fast that you weren't able to catch it. Only on slow motion camera you catch it. But the stuff that Dynamo is doing, and there's other street magicians that are doing, is that you, they, they don't even touch it. It just, the card just flies out. Whoa! Awesome, awesome! Awesome, yeah. And people are, he just, he just, he just flew. I can't believe it. Where did he go? Where did he go? <laughs> the thing is, the thing is, in the time of Musa alayhi salam, Allah mentioned the Quran. Check it out in the ninth juz. Check it out in the nineteenth juz. Check it out in the sixteenth juz in Surah Taha. You will find it. Allah said a beautiful phrase. He said, when the magicians came against Musa alayhi salam, now Musa alayhi salam is doing no black magic. But the magicians have learned how to do black magic. Now there's, there's a process in that. That they get so, you know, however they do it, whether it's involving jinns inside, whether it's involving something else, some demonic thing inside, or devil worship, whatever it is, I don't know. But definitely there's, a, there's another source in between them, which is whether there's some kind of spell that makes the people, their senses start acting differently to what they really are. So what Allah said in the Quran was, Saharu a'yunan nas. Saharu a'yunan nas, which means that they bewitched people's eyes. So there was a massive crowd and the whole crowds were looking on. And Musa alayhi salam was called on the day of their festival day. It's like, it's like saying, you know, the biggest day of the year. It's like, you know, when everybody comes out, the biggest day of the year, that day they had this, this contest. And Musa salam was on one side and all the best magicians on the other side. And they had sticks and ropes. These are actual sticks and actual ropes. So they threw them onto the ground. And when they threw them onto the ground, يُخَيَّلُ إِلَيْهِمْ أَنَّهَا تَسَعَ إِلَيْهِ أَنَّهَا تَسَعَ It was made to seem, made, now listen to this very carefully, it was made 
to seem to their eyes that they are actually running around. They turn into snakes and they were they were moving around all around. And people said, whoa, you know, like dynamo disease. Whoa, yeah. But you know what? You're not seeing what you're supposed to see. You're supposed to see a stick on the ground. You're supposed to see rope on the ground. But because he's bewitched your eyes, even the camera that's looking, they see something different. Even when you taste like, you know those, um, I don't know, um, jelly bellies he gets out, they're tasting it, blueberry jelly, mm, he just changed into jelly belly. <laughs> right, you know, it's like, it's like they can taste it, they can hear it, they can smell it, they can see it, they can touch it, feel it, because he's had an effect on your body. These were the magicians of Musa Alayhi's time. And one phrase Allah used was, Saharu Ayunan Nasi, they bewitch the people's eyes. Allah uses that phrase. When you do that, people don't see what they're supposed to see. When people die, they see something different. Musa alayhi salam was a real, real miracle. Allah said, Oh Musa, put your stick down now. And he threw it down. And you know, his one turned to a real snake. And it wasn't just a snake, it was a serpent. It wasn't just a serpent, it was a massive, tall, you know, just completely towering over the people. A huge serpent. And you know the serpent didn't even move. You know all the other ones are like the dancing, the moving around in the circle. Right? Musa alayhi salam's one came up and just went I just sucked. And you know all the ropes and sticks that seemed like snakes, they went It just hoovered them all up. Sucked them all up like a vacuum cleaner. Right? And then Musa Alayhi Salaam just touched the snake, turned into a staff again, and that was it. Like, the magicians came with something like, Hey man, he took my magic wand. Man, he put me out of business, you know? <laughs> business, he put me out. You know, it was finished. They, they went straight into sujood because they knew that no matter how big of a black, you know, magic person you are, magician you are, you can't do what Musa Alayhi just did. That's real, real miracle. That's not magic. Now, what I want to say to you is that Dynamo you know, has reached that stage and some have, and you can reach this stage through devil worshipping, through controlling jinns, through some spells and magic. And there are, there are things out there, whether you use religion, non -religion, most of this is non-religious stuff that you do. And maybe his granddad that he always talks about, maybe taught him that, how to do that. There's one other thing with, which is not, not, it doesn't include black magic, but it has a power of the eyes that any human being can train to do, which is you move things with, with just the control of the force of you looking at it. You might think this is really weird, but you know people who look at a, a spoon and they bend the spoon just by looking at it? That's a power a human can create within himself. And a Hindu, a Muslim, anyone, if you can get that power within yourself, and it's a lot of training. It's a lot of training and you have to have serious belief inside you that that thing's going to happen. And you might think it's really weird, but you know what? It actually, you can do it. And it's nothing to do with religion. My Ustad, Mullah Fadr Rahim Sahib said that there's people out there who train themselves to do loads of things like just by looking at something. So you know some of these cards that move? It's either a jinn that moves you or it's the power of the eyes. You can train it to do that. Now there are people in India who do it on a daily basis. The only thing is that they haven't got a camera following them and showing what they actually do. Okay, now the thing comes to how do you know that what Dynamo is doing is magic? Well, let me tell you. And this I'm going to tell you and I'm going to be straight up. I was, in a, I was in a wedding about six years ago. And they hired a magician in this wedding. And this magician was going from table to table, showing his magic. Right? And when he was showing his magic, and then people were like, I'm saying, wow, 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 you know. And he's going table to table. He's coming to my table. And I'll tell you how to stop a magician and mess him up. You know, mess him up big time. Yeah, you wanna mess him up big time and you do this. Yeah, I did it and you know what happened? I messed the guy up. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, what you do here is you read Qul A'udhu Bil Falaq three times. In the Surah Falaq, three times. You blow on this thumb and you close it. Read Qul bin Nas three times. Blow on this thumb and close it like that. Yeah? Before the magician comes or right in front of the magician. Even if he's come, just do it and hold it like that. You will mess him up if he's using any magic. One of our teachers taught us this. And it was the only time I used it. I thought, you know what, let me, let me check this out there. So I read it and I sat there and I had my hands on the table. 
The guy came around and he started in magic. And you know what? He messed up. And he wanted to be red in the face. And I was talking, I said, you, you can't do any magic. And he said, there's always one, isn't there? There's always one. Let me show you, right? He tried to do the trick and he messed up. So he kind of put his cards back together, right? He did another trick and he messed that one up. And there was, a, there was an announcement he made. And before, you know, you know, you know, the guy talked himself out and just left the table and went to the next table. If you want to seriously stop, if, I, I wish I could meet Dynamo. I would want to read these ads in front of me. And the second thing is, Seriously, second thing is, there's a really big ayah. After this, if you can read the next ayah, I think it's um, Surah, Surah Yunus, which is the 10th uh, Surah of the Quran. Um, I think it's Falamma al qala lahum Musa. مَا جِئْتُمْ بِهِ السِّحْرِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ سَيُبْطِلُهُ إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يُسْلِحُ عَمَلَ الْمُسْسِدِينَ وَيُحِقُّ اللَّهُ الْحَقَّ بِكَلِمَاتِهِ وَلَوْ كَرِهَ الْمُجْرِمُونَ If anyone, while I'm still here, is Hafiz can take that out. <coughs> it would be good if I can actually see that ayah and then I'll say it. If you can read that, those were, I think it might be around ayah number, I think 61, 62 or something. Yeah? If you read that and you blow onto the magician you've completely snapped him he will not be able to do any of his of his tricks and <coughs> with that <coughs> what i'm going to say to you guys is don't think that these guys are doing anything amazing or fantastic all they're doing is they've, li they've reached the level of doing um, all of this through tricks through black magic through jinns but they have got no power of Allah Azza wa Jal that is helping them do any and there's no miracles whatsoever. So they're doing it and you could reach the same level. I'm not going to ask you to gain this stuff. All I'm asking you to do is you just don't get hooked onto this too much. Don't spoil your you know, hours and hours of you know, watching all of this. And remember, it's only bewitching the eyes. Jazakumullah khair wa akhir da'wana. And alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin.